This is the question of ratio and proportion asked by UPSC in CSAT paper of 2021, right? So this is a tricky question. Many student was not able to solve it in the exam, right? So we will see it. An amount of money, money is not mentioned, right? Was distributed among ABC in the ratio of PQR, right? So there is some amount of money, M, suppose, and there are three person, A, B, and C. And they receive money in the ratio of P, Q, R, right? So we know the portion of money of A will be how much? So it will be M into P upon P plus Q plus R, right? And how much B will get? B will get M into Q upon P plus Q plus R. And C will get how much? P plus Q plus R. Right. Now, the first thing is, the first statement is, A gets the maximum share if P is greater than Q plus R. So, the statement is saying, P is greater than Q plus R. So, Q, R can be R some number, right? See, th this thing is common between all three, right? So, this won't make any difference. So, what will make difference? This figure will make difference, PQR, right? So, P is greater than Q and R combined, right? So, P is greater than the sum of Q plus R. So, it means P is the largest. So, if P is the largest, the portion of P will also be largest, right? If P is largest, then the portion of A right so the portion of a will be largest too. so he will re receive the largest amount of money so a statement is right up the second statement is c gets the minimum share if r is less than the condition is giving if r is less than r is less than p plus q right p and q are some amount right so r is less than the sum of p plus q so the statement is saying the r will uh, this uh, c will receive the minimum amount of money right so let's take some numbers and try it like suppose p is 2 right and q is 5 so what will be the r so this will be 7 and suppose R is 8. So the portion of, but the condition is giving R is less than, so R is 6. So we have to take R6 because it is less than such sum. So sum is 7. So let's take R6. Right. So this will be 2, 5, 6. So, the R is receiving maximum number of, so C is re receiving maximum amount of money, not less, right. So, this is not possible, see, if we are considering these things, 2, 5, 6, so the equation is getting failed, right. So, if you take some other number, like you take 2, 3, 4. Right, so this will be R is less than, this condition is getting satisfied, R is less than these two, sum of these two, 5, right, but the amount of money R will get is maximum, right, so this condition is not satisfying, okay, so here we cannot deduct anything out of this statement, so this is wrong, so only option A is right. So, the answer will be option A, right? So, I hope you have to understand If you guys still have some problem, you can connect with us, right?